In a world torn by conflict, World War II stands out as a period of intense innovation in desperation in the development of weapons of war. Nations raced to gain supremacy on the battlefield. Their quest led to the creation of unconventional and strange weapons of war. Some of these weapons blurred ethical lines by intertwining animals with technology. One such weapon was referred to as Project X-Ray. Project X-Ray was conceived by a Pennsylvania dentist named Littell Adams. He proposed it to the White House in 1942, shortly after the attack on Pearl Harbor. The concept caught the interest of President Roosevelt, who decided to have the U.S. Army pursue the development of this strange project. The plan turned live bats into flying bombs by attaching tiny incendiary devices to them. These bats would then be housed in containers that could be dropped from bombers. The containers would deploy a parachute in mid-air and open at an altitude to release these deadly bats. The bats would then disperse, seeking out dark places and buildings to roost. After a time delay, the bombs would ignite, causing widespread fire and destruction. The U.S. military thought this type of device would be especially devastating in Japan because most of all the buildings and houses there were made of exposed wood and were highly flammable. The bat bomb concept went through several phases of testing and was showing mixed results until an unforeseen turn occurred and disaster struck. On May 15, 1943, one of the tests of the bat bombs at the Carlsbad Army Airfield Base in New Mexico became active. Bats armed with live incendiary devices were accidentally set free. These aerial arsonists thought refuge under a fuel tank on the base, and as fate would have it, their cargo ignited, unleashing a fiery blaze. The damage to the base and buildings was extensive, and the fiasco marked the project's downfall. The accident highlighted the unpredictability and danger of merging nature with warfare. Shortly after, Project X-Ray was canceled and the bats were never used in World War II.